So, my loves, it's spooky month. It started. And I've decided once again to go back and have a look at some of the horrors that I used to create in The Sims 4. Which in turn means me going back at my older builds and renovating and roasting them. Now, I found a lovely classic to renovate today. It's not the worst. It's not the worst that I've done, but it's just something that I am not happy with today. And I'm going to give it a new lease of life and go about it in the design sense that I've kind of got for myself now. So yes, you guys seem to enjoy this. So let's flop on over and look at the horror that we're going to be renovating. Now, welcome to number four, Park Lane. I mean, I'm just being dramatic because I'm gay. It doesn't really look too bad from the outside. There is a certain kind of, I don't know, commercial office block look to it. And it's not an, an ugly, ugly house by any means. But there are just certain things about this place that just need just needs updating. Needs updating. I'm going to reduce it in size as well. It's far too big. And there was just very many questionable choices that I made with this build. So as always with this type of renovation and roasting video, I'm now going to go around and roast everything that I think is wrong with this build. This like weird add on shape that I've put on the back of this house for some reason with diagonal walls and uh, I, I don't know what that's about, but we're going to rectify that. The sheer amount of shelves that I've used on windows just for some kind of architectural detail. Um, it doesn't look good. We're going to rectify that. The placement of these windows for some reason. Why was that a good idea? I do not know, but we will be rectifying that too. The fact that this was a time when we didn't have platforms in the game. And to kind of get past that sort of vibe and get this kind of vibe on top of rooftops and stuff, we used to put in kitchen counters for some reason. These here, all on the roof line, just to make the roof look better, uh, resulting in this house being worth nearly 600,000 simoleons. The fact I put these weird metal grill things on a half wall in the kitchen, again, for some kind of detail, and it just doesn't work. And don't even get me started on the windows in the back there. The weird self-made parquet flooring using the spooky stuff pack. It just, it just doesn't vibe with me. Just the layout of this like living room come bar area with like glass panels separating it off and just the color choices in here. It's just not the one. The fact I'm using a massive spa day fountain in a little like guest bathroom downstairs as well. Not vibing with that either. This double height pool area for some reason with chandeliers that are not on the same grid space as well. Why did I, why, 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 why? This weird like landing office gaming moment area that overlooks the living room and bar area downstairs with that hideous partition wall thing that I've done underneath me here that just snakes out and just, oh, it just, it makes me, it makes me sad to look at it, to be honest. The floor plan, the floor plan on this level, it, I, what was I thinking? Diagonal walls everywhere, weird bamboo plants in this huge hallway with a, a spa retreat for some reason, and just the general colour use that I've used up here. It, it's tragic. It really, really is tragic. The windows by the bed for some reason in the master suite, like, what? Straight into the bathroom. And one out looking over the pool. And I put a mirrored one on that one just so like people don't look in. But you can watch them have a poo. It's fine. This like area of the landing that overlooks the living room with like its own like planter moment in the corner. So we have definitely got our work cut out for us, making this house a little bit more decent. I think I'm going to reduce it in size for a start. I just think it's far too big. This whole area here, I'm taking off that whole back area you are going we're going to have a bit more of a garden i still want to keep in with this modern aesthetic that we've got going with it oh god this is like that's okay it's when it comes around to here and you get inside it's, that's where it gets trash so this build is going to be looking a whole lot different 
in just a second. And what we're going to do, what, what I'm going to do is just strip it back, strip it back, get rid of everything that's unnecessary. And we're going to start getting a bit more of a better shape and a better look with this house, but still kind of si sitting in the same kind of like um, print. Is that the right, right word to use? Probably not, but we're going to go with it anyway today. So big changes have been made. I have stripped this build back, but still trying to stick in with that kind of vein that we had going on. It was kind of a QB looking house and I've kind of gone for that. Yes, I have. So what I want to show you is the floor plan because the floor plan is going to be the one, darlings. It is. So we've got an entrance coming in this way, a little bathroom downstairs. I think this is going to be a large living area that I'm going to use a lot of platforms and stuff on just to make it look a little bit more interesting. So large living area, come library, that kind of vibe. We're going to go for a very clean, minimal, modern aesthetic in this interior. Yes, we are indeed. Now, this is going to be a dining room and kitchen. Again, I'm going to play around with platforms. I'm probably going to raise the kitchen up a little bit higher, I think. Um, so that would be a lovely floor plan for downstairs. Obviously, because we got rid of all of that bulky back business that we had going on, I'll show you the back properly here. We've got a lot more room to play around with now out the back here. So I'm going to play around with a nice garden. We're going to put a pool in because there was a pool on this lot. This house had four bedrooms, I think. I've done three bedrooms this time. So they kind of come up onto the landing here. Then we've got this master suite that they're going to have their own kind of private little terrace area out the front of the build. Big family bathroom. So I'm going to do a really nice big family bathroom in there with two smaller bedrooms that I'm going to do that we had two children's bedrooms. So I thought that would be the perfect size for a children's bedroom. And I was even thinking about putting on a little outdoor area here for the kids and making it quite safe and whatnot. But I don't really know how I'm going to go about that. Not too sure if that's going to be a thing, but it's in the back of my head. So it might happen. Um, so I think the best thing to do now would be for me to go and pick some wallpapers and some windows wallpapers and windows have been chosen and i'm gonna go for this kind of concrete and timber kind of vibe for it i've also put up that like privacy screen over this window here just to pay respect to those awful shelves that i had on the windows um to act as privacy sort of pieces when we didn't have those objects in the game so i'm kind of for it and you can also see out here what i've done is done a I was going to make this into like a children's kind of area, but I reckon the whole family could benefit from this. So what I've done is put some double doors here, which in turn had to, I had to reduce the size of the main bathroom um, up here, but I don't mind that too much. I've also gave the children their own bathroom as well up here. So there are two bathrooms up on this level now, so they should not be fighting for bathroom space. Um looks lovely i'm absolutely for it down onto this level you can see i've obviously gone ahead and put all of the platforms and stuff in now so this is going to be the living room snug and i reckon this is going to be a bit more of like a an office slash library kind of space that kind of vibe i think so that's what we're gonna do then you come through here we're gonna do a lovely dining room moment there and then kitchen up here uh, and then nothing else has changed upstairs, really, apart from me extending this side of the build out a little bit more with a little nook that I've got going on here. But I reckon what I'm going to be able to put in there is maybe some shelving or even, again, one of those one tile like office um, tables with a computer down here. Definitely still want to get a pool in this area. So what I'm going to do is maybe put a pool around here. I'm thinking around here would probably be perfect for it. Now, my thoughts were, we're going to start around the front of the house, just chucking in a few more details up here. I definitely want to bring a lot of greenery into this build. I think green with concrete is just, oh, it's just my vibe. So I definitely want to do that. So I want to keep this tree, but I've had thoughts about putting in a carport in this area here. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this one. And we've got ourselves a little carport area that is still screaming out for an absolute tree so i'm gonna put an absolute tree in loves and i'm gonna flop one just behind it hopefully because uh, that is what we're gonna try and do we're gonna try and make this look very modern very minimalist but also just nature's kind of like you know helping it on its way and i think that is a vibe let's get a car so there we go car has been added and i've also changed the front of this a little bit so i reduced this in size i pulled it in with the privacy hedge we've put a gate uh, on the actual hedge itself and I've put these two trees out the front here 
I've put the two trees out the front and I just think that really just adds again the greenery that I really want to get into this build um, on this lot. And I'm for it. Absolutely bloody for it. I really am. Now we do need to get a mailbox out here and we do need to get some lighting in this space as well. And I do want to get a bit more greenery on the kind of like porch entrance area too. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm even going to brick it up just there as well. This is going to be kind of like unaccessible, this side of the build. I don't really want them to have any kind of access around here. So I think I'm going to litter that with lots of greenery as well. So that is the plan. A couple of planters just to bring a pop of green to the entrance area. It's a welcome rug as well. And I've also littered up this whole side here with some greenery to kind of act as privacy as well, which is nice. I do want this to kind of be a nice private house. So I'll, you can imagine the lots are quite close to each other. So on each side, I do want as much privacy as we can muster. So I'm going to do that with a lot of greenery and things. I've also left this green area here that I'm going to litter with loads of plants and greenery. And it's all going to be in tall sort of like sizes and whatnot. And I've extended out the size of the patio here as well. So we can fit a lovely pool area in with some hangout space that we can do outside in various areas. So that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. So I think first off, I've left this space here for another tree as well. So I think I'm going to pull another tree back from where we've already got them. We will use the same trees, trees as what we've been using uh, throughout this whole lot. Just so it blends in quite nicely. And then I'm going to get the pool area in. So I don't really want it to be a massive pool. Oh, vibing. Absolutely vibing. Just a lovely little pool for the fam. You know, because we've like, we're coming over this side, it's almost making me want to like extend the pool just a little bit more on that side there. Because we've got this two tire walkway on this side, we don't really need to come around that way. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that. Yes, I am indeed. I mean, this is all sheltered underneath of this. So we don't really need anything around there. So I'm thinking maybe just another planter with some plants and some ivy growing up on that piece. And there we go. Just something like that. Just again to bring a bit more detail over into that area. And then we'll get some sun lounges and stuff out here. There we go. Tiles have been chosen for the pool. I've also lit the pool up as well. I've put some drainage around the pool itself. And some sun lounges with a cheeky little umbrella. And also some planters out on this side as well. Just think that just adds what I, what I wanted it to into that little area and I'm kind of vibing with it. I will not lie to you. So as I said, I do want this area over here to be very green. So I'm going to be pulling out a whole lot of stuff and landscaping this whole bit here and having it quite lush and green as well. Uh, and then I'm going to do a little dining table here as well. Little dining area here and light up this whole area so they have got some outside lighting. So that's what I did. But I've put in like a bar moment. I just thought having this like barbecue moment along this area. Nice little bit of entertaining space. This table co colour is not perfect. It's not what I want meeting all of the other kind of greys and browns here. But I still think it looks good. So I'm going to do it. And then up here I just put on a few more plants. And a little cheeky bit of, um, you know, je ne sais quoi belle there as well. And obviously littered that up with a lot of greenery to act as privacy as i said i wanted on this sort of like side of the build it kind of just it nestles the house into the landscape and i'm i'm very much for that i really really am so i think to finish off the outside we need to get some bits and bobs up on these terraces yeah yeah i think that works i definitely think that works and as i said i once there's some greenery up here i think that will kind of just put a bit of pizzazz I'm kind of stuck at what to do on this terrace. Uh, do you know what? Would it, it would probably be better if these planters were on that terrace instead of being on here. So I think I need to reshuffle and think about what I'm going to put on there. And by the time I come back, it's all going to be done. So what we did is got rid of the planters on this side. And I still wanted to add a little bit of greenery and privacy in. So I've used those two little objects there. That just adds something. We are going to be putting blinds up in here anyway. And around the back here, I've put the planters here. So a little bit of a family activity. I might have to put a hose pipe or something up here. And then what I did was use these little seats that came with the high school pack and made this kind of bench that goes all the way along underneath of the children's bedrooms. 
Uh, so they've got a little view over at the park as well. I just thought that would have been a nice little touch, loves. So I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of happy about the exterior looks. It's got everything that I would want. It's got everything that I'd like now. This might all change in two years. I could be back here in two years renovating this. But at the minute, I'm vibing. So I think the only thing left to do is to get into the interiors. But before we make a start on the interiors, I'm going to choose all the flooring and the wallpapers. Flooring and wallpapers is on and a hat has appeared above my head. Um, I've just been and took Blue out for a walk and I can't be asked to take my hat off. <laughs> so, it's, so it's staying on. So this is the vibe that we've gone for. Now there's been some changes, only a few subtle changes, including the concrete wallpaper on the outside. I've decided to go for this one here, which is from the Desert Luxe Pack. I just think it adds a nice bit of texture onto this build itself. I got rid of the trellis here as well, which it kept like drawing my eye to it. And I was just like, I don't like that. So I got rid of it. We've got enough greenery um, without that. So it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but I'm vibing. I'm absolutely vibing. I also moved the solar panels from there and I've put them here instead and added two more. And then I've put a skylight down into the master bedroom as well. So what we've done is picked all of the wallpapers and windows and flooring. So this is the vibe that we're going for in the interiors. I love this tone in this house. I just think it's going to bring a bit of the outside in, that greenery that we're trying to get with this build. Uh, so I bought that. That is from Jungle Adventure. It's the textured kind of like Adobe kind of style wallpaper. Uh, we've used the same wallpaper from Desert Lux on the interiors as well. This one here is also from Jungle Adventure that I've carried on through into the kitchen area. We've gone for some reclaimed textured wood that I just think really just adds a little bit more of a rustic-y kind of vibe in here. We've gone for polished concrete everywhere else. Now, I know this is not everybody's bag, but this is my bag and this is my house. So I'm going to do that. In the child's bedrooms, because they were very brightly coloured in the original renovated house, we're going to be adding some colour into these rooms. So I've used a nice pop of yellow and some red in those as well and with the master bedroom i've just gone for a full green vibe in here that i just think will look marvelous with some beautiful furniture put in here as well so i'm vibing loves i'm vibing i'm ready to roll we're going to make a start on the living room area we're going to make a start on the living room area and the kind of office slash library space uh what i need to do is find some good furniture that i just think will work well so I'm going to play around with a little bit of colour here. Definitely going to play around with a little bit of colour. I think this like orangey hue against the green just looks great, which in turn made me change the colour of the fireplace slightly and get a bit more of a ready tile in the background. Uh, I'm, and I'm feeling this. I am absolutely feeling this. So I'm going to flop this up. Now, lately, I've not been putting TVs in my living rooms. I don't know why. It's just a thing I've been doing. Um, so I'm going to do exactly the same with this as well. And it's going to be more of a reading kind of like room and a little bit more of a family hangout space rather than having somewhere where you can come and watch TV. So that's not that's what we're going to do. That is a design choice and I'm going to do it, loves. You can always flop one in if you do want to get this house, which I will put up in the gallery for you guys. Um, But the option is there for you, you know. Now we're going to use this plant, even though that when you put this plant down, it seems to darken about 55,000 shades because Sims. Um, but we're going to use it anyway. So I'm going to flop this sofa directly in front of the fireplace. Maybe around about, mm, maybe there. Bring this rug in as well. Um, I might even go back a bit further there, actually. Bring that further back a little bit more. And use this table. The mid-century vibe. There's probably going to be quite a bit of mid-century vibe um throughout this house i just think it would really suit the aesthetic of the exterior now weirdly i just thought this chair looked great with all of these colors uh, so i'm going to use that too i'm going to use this chair here i'm going to flop you to there and i'm going to bring you and tuck you in behind it this lamp here i just think those colors look really really lovely together and i'm kind of for it really really am i am so i'm going to carry on now this area here i've kind of like brung these kind of like privacy screens a little bit further around this way as well just to separate this area here that we've got going there are reasons behind that and i'll show you in just a sec i thought this desk from the high school pack would look great in this space because it's got that kind of mid-century vibe to it 
um, and we're going to go for the Mac kind of looking PC up there. We're going to use the Get to Work um, Bookshelf of Dreams because I just think it looks very grown up and I like the white fresh against the like grey wall and I think the brown kind of like sits in well with the colour of the actual desk itself. Now I'm going to have a bit of fun with the chair. Look at this. I want a little bit of textured pattern over here. So I'm going to bring a bit of that green. I just think that green works well with the other green tone on the wall over there. So I'm bringing that one over to there. Lighting. Just this little candle tray here, darlings. Little candle tray just there. Just to bring some zen into this moment. And speaking of zen, let's bring a plant in behind here as well. Just in behind this little nook. I thought that would be great. And then I want to bring this shelving unit and put this just above. The actual PC itself. Now, this is not into the wall correctly, but it is now. So I'm bringing that in, and we can just pretend that kind of like ends maybe around about there, actually. And I'll put a few little bits and bobs up on top of there, a plant and whatnot. Uh, and I just love that little nooky space. And I really love that pattern on that chair. I think that's lovely. So I thought what this could be utilised for is a bit of a kid's area. Now we are going for a very kind of minimal look in here. But I think if they've got two kids in the house, they're going to need something to keep them busy, aren't they? Why are you going down? Can you stop being such an asshole? But I don't think it can. So I thought we'd bring that in just for aesthetic reasons. Um, a little children's like play um, house. And maybe like a couple of squashy little beanbag chairs around here as well for the kids to come and like sit on and maybe do a little bit of reading or whatnot. I thought that could have been quite a little vibe. So hopefully I could squeeze them in like either side there. Do you know what I mean? Just by the window, a bit of brightness on there. And I'm kind of for that. I really, really am. I think what we're going to do, I'm happy with that area. I think it looks nice. Especially with using all in-game items as well. I usually struggle with that kind of stuff. We're going to make a start on the kitchen area itself. I just need to pick a good kitchen first. I think we're going to use the Snowy Escape dark kitchen in here. I think this will work quite nicely. Again, I want that inside outside vibe in here, loves. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are. And I'm going to look for the other texture of this that makes the green a little bit higher. I know there is one, I think. Hopefully we can make that come through because I do want to see that green. And as soon as you put these up against this, it, it just kind of gets lost. So I want to make that a bit apparent too. That's what we're going to do. Right. I've got a layout kind of semi-planned. We're going to see if it works. I'm going to pop you to there like that. We're going to go right along to here as well. And we're also going to use a corner piece on this bit. Flop you to about there. And then bring this all the way down on this side here as well. Well, not all the way down. I'm going to go to here and then put an end piece. In fact, I'm going to put the end piece there maybe. I just want to see the shape because I've got an idea of how I want this to look. Because my thoughts were just having a small little breakfast bar here. And we are having a dining room in this room as well. Is that in the right position? It looks a bit weird. No, there we go. That's the right position. Let me have a little look at you. Yes, I think that would work. Some lovely shelving all up on this side here, I think would be great. But what I do want to find is that other green texture and see if I can find it. Well, I thought I found, found it and I got excited and I was like, oh, and then I realised that the colour is completely different on the other piece. Like, what, 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 what is the thought process? What is the thought process of that when they are doing, designing these packs? I will never know. So instead, what I've done is just put the full green wall at the back but kept it on this side here in that kind of texture. I just think that will look nice, especially when we get some darker shelves up there as well. Kind of vibing with it, to be honest with you. Maybe bring in a bit of green in here. Oh, I like that as well. Maybe bring in a bit of green in here with the lighting too. I might even do two of these, you know. I'm going to plop one to there and I'm going to do one there as well. And I'm just going to put a spotlight in here instead. Just because there's enough kind of pendulum light lighting going on in here i don't think it needs any more so what we need is some shelves a bin and i also want to get some bar stores out as well and i think what i'll do in that process is also find the dining room table and chairs okay so i have done a little cheeky trick with this cutting board i decided to cover up the island just to give it a bit more of a modern like feel in here 
Looking very brown and green in here, but I like that. I do. But what I really want to hit in here is lots more plants. I think this room could be screaming out for a lot more greenery with plants and stuff. Um, I'm kind of vibing. Absolutely kind of vibing with that. I've also picked out this uh, table and chairs as well. The one that Hey Harry created for The Sims. I just thought, again, it fits into the aesthetic that we've got going in here really nicely. Um, and I'm really just feeling this room. I really, really am. And just like that, the kitchen has got everything that I would need. Apart from that floating fucking plant over there. I can see you. We'll move that down. And a hat has disappeared off of my head because I was sweating my tuppence off, loves. So what I did down here is put, I sized up this like straw rug. I just really love the tones of that with that table. I think that looks smashing. Littered a bit more greenery in here. Use of plants and a little one on the table. Pop of colour. We're not going to be afraid of colour with this place. Uh, with this house. I'm playing around with it a little bit. I've filled up some plates and some jars. And the shelf as well has got bits and bobs on. Another cutting board over there. A coffee machine. A smoke alarm. Oh, it's looking glorious. And I also just filled up this area here while we were off camera as well. So I did use those um, canvases there as well. So little shelving unit up on that part. I've done a, like a seating area in the entrance hall place where, yeah, you can hang your coat and bits and bobs up. And we've done a small little shower room in here as well. So they have got a lovely bathroom, a full bath. Well, not a full bath because there's no bath in it. But a bathroom nonetheless without the bath. And I've also done this here. Little planter moment using a platform. Just again to add greenery against all of this concrete. Uh, and I know, as I said, concrete's not for everybody. But for me my taste i love it i would definitely have a concrete house yes i would so we're coming up into the upstairs now so what we're going to do is probably make a start on the master bedroom itself now i want this to be kind of mid-century maybe slightly industrial as well so that's what i'm going to try and hit in this room yes we are so let's go um i am definitely by the way guys i can feel it in my bones i'm definitely coming down with a cold <laughs> i can feel it when I had that hat on, I was sweating my chuff off. Don't worry, I've took some tablets. I should be okay. But oh, I don't want to get poorly. I feel like I'm on such a roll with content and stuff lately. And I'm just a bit pissed off that I'm feeling a bit poorly. I really, really am. Yeah, we'll go for that one. We'll go for this bed. I'm going to use, again, a lot of the high school stuff in this um, bedroom. I'm just really enjoying using it. It's just a shame for me, personally. A lot of it is... Not very good swatches. A lot of them don't have good swatches, but you know, The Sims. What more can be said? I think we'll use these side tables. I would like to use the matching dresser in here as well in that swatch too, but I would also love a wardrobe. Yes. And I think a lovely mirror on top there as well. What mirror? I don't know. We've gone for that one from high school years as well. And I've overlapped them. There's two of them here, but I've overlapped them just to give us some kind of je ne sais quoi there. The one tile desk, I'm hoping this brown will match in. Oh, it does. What a dream. Right, we're going to slot you right into there, my love. Can I use this one in here again? Uh, oh, that colour looks great in here. I actually do really like that colour. That kind of colour there goes with the bedding. It's got a little splash of pink. I'm doing it. I'm using this one. And there we go. Final touches have been put in. So... A little box up here. I didn't want the kind of like makeup and trinkets to be on show. So I've pretended that it's in this box instead. Just to keep it very neat and minimal. And a lovely little plant on the up on that side as well. We've put some of those table lamps. Again from the high school pack. Is the, is, are these from the high school pack? I'm sure they are. They are. So I put them up on either side of the bed itself. I just think that looks glorious. A little plant in this corner over here. And then I've had this little moment over here. So using the Desert Lux chair, snowy escape table, plants and the base game lamp behind it as well. Lovely bedroom. I'm absolutely feeling that bedroom. Um, that's probably my favourite room we've done so far. Very much for it. We really, really are. So what we're going to do now is move on and do the two children's bedrooms. But what I'm going to do off of camera is just furnish all of this lot here. So... Uh, both of the bathrooms and the landing. I'm just going to put a few little bits up. I've put this up here, but I'm not sure if I like it or not there. I don't mind it, but yeah. So let me get that done and then we'll come back together and finish off these two. 
bathrooms have been furnished uh i went for kind of like a double sink moment in this one here very concrete but i do like the vibe of it uh, and we went for a bathroom in this room rather than a shower because i just thought this like long space here right up against the window that i have put a blind on just added something to that bath and i'm very much for it i didn't do too much out here i decided to keep this as well that kind of like shelving unit with all of the greenery on it i just think it looks nice uh, and I put up two plants and just kept this quite bare. Now, with the children's bedrooms, we're going to stick in with that themed colour that we've got for each of them. But I'm going to give them both just a little bit of a different personality. I think with the yellow, I'm going to go for more of a creative kind of vibe for this child. And then for this one here, I'm going to go for more of a nerdy sort of gamer vibe for this bedroom. So that's what we're going to do. We'll start off with the creative one, though. So let's get into kids and get some bits and bobs out that is just going to make sense to have in here for a creative child. Now, I've pulled out a few bits here. I've pulled out a few bits. We'll start over on the bed area. I'm going to use this wardrobe in that lovely lemony yellow. And the sofa kind of matches in perfectly with the actual bedspreads. The yellow and blue vibe. Because they are a bit of a creative sim as well, a creative child, I'm going to say they're very much into books. So that's why I bought out the sofa as well. So somewhere they can just go and get lost in a book. We'll put that little creativity table there. I am going to bring this violin out too. And I'm going to use a lot of these little decals. I don't know. This just adds a little bit of magic to me. And I think bringing out a lovely little toy chest in here. I could even slot that perfectly over into that little corner there, couldn't we? A little creative space to fill their heads with magic and wonder. Oh, God. <laughs> I dropped something then on my keyboard. <laughs> Excuse me. I think we'll do that. And I think what I'll do is just put it over into the corner so they've got something to rest their little their little feet on. And then I think something down here as well. I think what I'm going to do is maybe this one. Oh, yes. From their favourite storybook. Um, Bigfoot and the Rose Garden. <laughs> literally made that up oh in that color as well you look smashing maybe a blue no that's more teal oh that's a nice blue yeah there we go in that color there oh adorable this this is gonna feed their head with wonder this room yeah that's cute again sticking in with that minimal vibe as well i don't want to over clutter anything too much okay for the piece de resistance the final room we're gonna move on to this child's bedroom but as i said we're going for that more geeky gamer vibe in here but trying to keep it child friendly so let's see what i find let me pull out a few bits okay here we go so definitely need a gaming pc so i've used green lamp little red chair here i did give them a tablet as well and a gaming pc what i'm going to do is complement this red tone that we're using in here and go in with this like lovely minty spear green moment that i just think looks lovely with that corally orangey red color i think that's mashing and i'm going to put the toy box here and then I thought maybe they're into like a bit of Dungeons and Dragons or something as well. So I'm going to, I sized down this doll's house, the castle doll's house. We're going to plop that into the corner. A little decal up there that I just thought was perfect in this room um, to kind of reflect on their tastes and whatnot. And I'm going to bring it in that same rug that I used in the other child's bedroom and just put it underneath of the actual bed itself so they don't get all the floor scratched uh, and i'm kind of vibing with that and i think for this child's bedroom what i'm going to do is just flop up a clock on the wall maybe the apple could look oh that looks adorable in here yeah i'm feeling that room again as i said keeping it minimal classy just some of the vibes really what what a lovely little child's bedroom if i do say so myself we are absolutely done Really, really, I'm very happy with how it turned out. So what we're going to do is just go in and do a tour through like this. I would have put a video tour together, loves, but I'm feeling a bit poorly. and I need to go and rest myself. So I hope you don't mind. We're going to tour it this way instead today. So let's start off with the main facade, shall we? So it definitely looks a lot different to how it did before. Um, it doesn't look like an office block anymore, but it is still got that cubey vibe that I really wanted to portray or bring across in this build and i'm glad um that is this all came together and i'm very glad that we changed the wallpaper to that new concrete i just think that's a vibe so you come around to this side round to here 
And this is the back area of the house itself. Can we get out the way, please, tree? This is the back area of the house itself. Very nice, very modern. Obviously, it's got this lovely little pool area. That was a must with this house, just to pay respect to the um, original house. A uh, little sunbathing moment there. A little bar area slash barbecue space. A floating plant. How very dare it indeed. Um, I think it's because I put the platform in after. I don't know what went on there. Um, we're going to go to the front of the house and make our way in through the front door. So you come in through this way. This is the entrance space here. Little bench moment there. Gorgeous. It's got its own little bathroom in here, complete with a shower as well. So you can shower off. Um, stairs going up into the upstairs. The living room. I like the living room colours. I really do. I like the living room colours in here. I think that all sits together nicely in my eyes. Then obviously it's got a little kid space around here as well, just to make this house a little bit more kid friendly. And then over a little office nook over onto this side as well. Gorgeous. And then you come around over here into uh, the dining space. The dining space is around there, nice and green. And then we've got the kitchen area here as well, complete with a floating plant that I will sort out before I get up on the gallery, I promise. And then obviously it's got those bifold doors out onto this area, going back into that gorgeous um, backyard space. Now you come up the stairs. I'm not going to put any banister on here, so the kids will fall down and face plant in those plants. But um, it's a design choice. Uh, we do have a little bit of decking space here as well. A kid-friendly family space where they can teach them to grow some plants and whatnot. Kind of feeling that vibe. Um, where are we going to start? We're going to start here. This is the main family bathroom. So two sinks, a bath and a toilet as well. Gorgeous. And also, I think those are the two kids' bedrooms, aren't they? So we'll start off with the master suite so the master bedroom probably my favorite room in the house um i just vibe with this this is very much my kind of tastes to be honest um yeah self-explanatory lovely master suite with its own terrace as well so sorry <laughs> i nearly burped then and i had to keep it in um with its own little sun terrace gorgeous you can definitely put more things out on here but as i said i tried to keep it a little bit more minimal with this room gorgeous skylight feeling it coming through over to this side uh we're going to start off with this kid's bedroom so there's a bit more of the creative space in here some books some creative tables a violin gorgeous lovely little kid's bedroom um well this is the kids like shower room as well so they've got their own little shower room in there and then obviously what we just did, um, which is a bit more of the geeky gamer space. Um, and I'm kind of vibing with it. I'll show you guys the floor plan as well. Oh, we've got some solar panels as well. Must not forget them. But let's, let me get a good position to show you these um, floor plans so you guys can have a little check. So down into the upstairs. And then this is the bottom floor as well for floor plans. Um, in case you guys wanted to copy along but another one of my older builds renovated and done renovated and done and completely stripped back to something completely new and i'm kind of for it i am kind of absolutely for it now i'm definitely going to be doing a few more of these so keep an eye out video coming tomorrow i really hope that i can get it out tomorrow guys i am as i said i'm feeling a bit ropey so if the video doesn't come tomorrow i will let you guys know and i'll be back on tuesday but I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm live on Twitch tonight playing a uh, horror game at 7 p.m. GMT. If you want to come and watch me play into the back rooms with a couple of friends, then I'm going to be there. But if not, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.